advancing American kidney health. There's a lot to read into this because he's basically starting to talk about how you start getting this, uh, the, the health systems changing and what we've always been talking about, changing the world with, through the free, uh, not, the healing systems, all this stuff. They can grow kidneys, they can grow hearts, they can do all this stuff. And it's going to start coming out here. So let's watch this clip. I had cut a little bit out here. I thought it was very, very interesting. Finally, this executive order, such an important executive order, encourages private enterprises to partner with government to achieve incredible medical breakthroughs. We are going to prioritize a truly transformative goal, the development of an artificial kidney. Yes. And it'll happen. That'll happen. Uh, but we're going to come up with solutions that, over a period of five years and ten years, I think most people, even in this room, experts in this room, won't even believe. From what I hear, there are signs and potential out there that's just incredible. Thank you very much for being here, and let's sign the executive order. Let's get going. Yeah. From what he hears, I think he's got a, a good uh, connection there <laughs> from what he hears, because... He knows a lot of stuff that he can't talk about. He doesn't like talking about the UFO thing. I, I think he knows a lot more than what people think he does. Uh, and that it's crazy to think about. He's talking about eradicating HIV, all that stuff, the, the cancers. It's time. And again, we're just right there. I just, we just got to get there and grab it because it is time. And I want to see this world change. Well, that leads me into this chemtrail. Now, uh, Nelson from Twitter sent me this video. Uh, I'm sure some of you may have seen this. This was uh, the Serial Brain 2 from the channel And We Know. Talking about how the chemtrail thing is basically taken care of now. And you're saying, oh, wait a minute, Dan. I still see chemtrails in the air. Well, this is why I kind of am a little iffy on this one. So this guy goes through, decodes all that. This is the other thing that boggles my mind about this. He takes some words from Trump's tweets and then the QAnon stuff and then you put them together and then it makes this decoded message. Is there something to it? I don't know. It's a lot. Why does it got to be so complicated? But breaking it down, basically, it says uh, in order for them to counter the chemtrails that have taken place to have to spray neutralizing stuff up there. Is that the case? I don't know. It's interesting to think about. I've, like I've said here for the last few months, I've seen less chemtrails in the air. I don't know about you guys, um, but you still see one every now and then, and maybe it's this neutralizing spray. And that leads to me thinking about other things. You know how we never really seen butterflies. I see butterflies all the time now. So was that part of the chemtrail crap? It's a good question, but it's interesting. I'll put this video in the description if you want to watch it. It's a, like a 47-minute video, but it goes through a lot, like I said, for them to sit there and piece together um, this, this decoded message, if you will. And I don't know, do I believe it? It's, I'm still on the fence about it, but it's, it's very interesting to think about um, because I know the chemtrail is a big topic. It was a big topic for me because... We obviously breathe uh, that air, and if it's killing us, well, that's not good. So before I wrap up, I want to shout out to the chat here. Uh, Cohen Hope says 75% clear. That's good because I think overall we do have clearer skies. So... Uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Tim, Joe, Angela was on. Forgot to say hi to her. She probably left now, but she was popping in every now and then. Terry, of course, one of our moderators. Tyler. Before I wrap up, I want to talk about a couple things. Isetti, of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will be there on August 8th through 11th. Pete and I will be there. Shane from Unbiased and on the Fence will be there. 
Uh, a lot of people emailed me, said, hey, I'm going to come out. I want to meet you. Great. Uh, we're going to go see some UFOs, folks, because this is what it's all about. I wanted to see these things. They just had their 4th of July event this last couple, probably two weeks ago now. Um, the guys from Edge of Wonder were there talking about they've seen stuff there, and you see something every night, so why not go? I mean, this is why James Gillen, I think, is the real deal, because he's not overcharging like $2,000 like somebody else to bring a UFO in. These are there every night. So again, this will be in Trout Lake, Washington, if you want to join us. I was looking at the, the tickets for this before the show. And if you just want to come out for a sky watch, of course, the sky watches are the 9th and 10th of the Friday and the Saturday. Uh, there is some camping available. You'd have to bring your own tent on those. Interestingly, now there's a few days here where they actually have the tent provided, but one day's was sold out. I was impressed. So August 10th, the camping where the, they provide the tent and the bedding is sold out on that one. And I think there was actually one more cabin available. Yeah, cabin accommodation. That's one queen with two twins. No electricity. It's a little spendy on that one, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, maybe we'll see some of you guys out there. Looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be great to connect with people again and get out of the studio for sure. And just a reminder... If you want to join us this Saturday, July 20th, we'll be live again at 2.30 p.m. Central. That's 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific. We'll have the panel, Dusty and uh, Pete will be in the house, and we'll discuss. Uh, I want to go over the documents, the, the Wilson documents. It would be interesting to break that down. It's a very important document. It needed its own show to do that. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you later. Uh huh. And uh, take care. Bye bye. Thanks for listening. Visit K2D4Network.com today.